Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this flower. And I hope he'll get back to me because I don't completely understand. He wants to engrave it as a vector image. He wants to get rid of the double lines. Well, there's really no way to get rid of the double lines because some of the lines are intermingled with the flower itself. So there's really no way to do that unless you got rid of this outside line. But you're still going to have double lines between your... This is a vector image. And I've already done it three different ways that it would engrave. You can engrave it all black. And all I did was use the Smart Fill tool to fill it in and then take away the outline. Then I filled in the double line and I took away the lines. And then I did the same thing and I made the leaves of the flower a gray. And you could do this with black or white. So you could you could color fill these uh and I have mine, and I'm going to change it right now. I have my Smart Fill tool fit on, set on hairline. Let's put none. And then when it Smart Fills, it won't leave a line. Whoop, we've got a leak right there. And whenever you have a leak, it's going to turn everything black. And that doesn't look where the flip because you, I have my outline so we'll just go back to the original, which I did fix the leak on here. It was right in this area. It was right. Well, I've already messed that up. There we go. It was right. Somewhere right in here was the leak. So if you were going to do the flowers in a different color, I would fill in all the colored parts, leaving that hairline to give you some space between the two, but do not fill in the leaves. Now let's zoom in here. And I hope I understood him right. And so you're done with that. Then take a lesser of a color, like 30% gray, and fill in the leaves. And really and truly on the leaves, you could maybe put an outline. Let's zoom in here. You could go back to black. Put a nope can't do that but anyway it's going to look pretty good and then take away the hairline right click your mouse and that would engrave it it is a vector image uh, he wanted to engrave it as a vector image that is a vector image I would bring these uh, leaves a little bit closer in maybe and you could do that just by moving the shape shape tool and move your nodes around a little bit Anyway, I hope that was his answer, and thank you for watching.